Have you ever wondered, what the heck does she pack for her posh events anyway? If you've ever seen my costume changes, then you know I pack a lot of luggage. And since I've been spending the last day getting ready for my next posh event, I thought it might be fun to share a little bit of what I do pack with you. I was gonna get all dressed up nice and fancy to make this video for you, but I mean, posh life. So I'm in my PJs with my messy bun. You're welcome. And I'm gonna share with you what I've packed on one condition. We agree that this is a no judgment zone. I'm a chronic overpacker and I don't even care because I love having all of the things that I might want to have when I'm on my trips. Flying first class on Delta helps because I get two free checked bags. So, like I said, I've spent the last day or so pulling together everything that I wanted to pack so that I could make this video for you. Then I got the weather report and at first it was not calling for rain and now it's calling for tons of rain. So, I'll tell you, we don't typically leave the hotel all that much during a posh trip, but we're headed to San Antonio and I'm super excited to hit the river walk. So, I'm going to be prepared for rain no matter what because I'm leaving the hotel at least one time. I could actually use your help selecting a rain jacket because I have a lot of them and I live in California and it never freaking rains, so I never get to wear my rain gear. Option number one. Ooh, I should try them on for you. Slide in here next to my suitcases. Okay, so this is rain jacket option number one. Option number two is sure poshy. It's got a pink lighting. I mean, geez, I should probably move to Portland because I freaking love these rain jackets and I never get to wear them. So this one is from Betsy Johnson. Okay, but this French connection jacket just gives me rain jacket vibes like, whoa, and the hood is awesome. Okay, so this is option number three. So tell me down in the comments which rain jacket I need to pack. Purple number one, black and pink number two, or yellow number three. Okay, so like I said, I've got two full-size suitcases packed full of goodies. We're gonna run through exactly what I'm bringing. So it's kind of become an unspoken thing where I just like to match all of my friends. <laughs> you know, because we're like teenagers. So if you saw my pictures from when I was just in Chicago last week, you saw me wearing this fun polka dotted onesie with the little pom-pom balls. <laughs> I'm bringing this again because I am rooming with my best friends, Angela and Alyssa, and they have matching onesies. So look forward to seeing our hotel suite pictures in our matching polka dots. Something that most people would not probably think of packing are protein bars. I always pack protein bars for posh trips because sometimes the windows of opportunity for food are very small and sometimes the selection is small and I tend to be a little bit of a picky eater. So I always bring the protein bars so that I can know that I get at least one solid meal in. <laughs> yes, I just called a protein bar a solid meal. So in my regular life, I don't wear a ton of jewelry. I always wear my Tiffany diamond studs in my second hole, but then oftentimes I don't have an earring in my first hole. So when I go on posh trips, I basically like to pack all of my jewelry. And then Alyssa and I always set up what we call the bobble bar, where we spread everything out. And it's just a fun like way to have a nice selection. It's like we have our own little boutique to get dressed from super fun. So I picked this guy up from TJ Maxx a few years ago and it is such a wonderful travel case for all of my earrings. So you can see it's got eight little sections and I put all of my little earrings and rings into here and it keeps them nice and not tangled up. I super recommend this type of travel container for your jewelry. And then I don't know where this box originally came from, but this is a nice padded gift box. And this contains the contents, or the rest of the contents of my bobble bar. So in here I've got my scarves and my necklaces and my bracelets packed. Angela sent me a message yesterday and requested a necklace. I was like, what length? And she was like, either boob length or down below the boobs or whatever. And I was like, oh, I'll just pack a bobble bar. I use my scarves to pad the jewelry that's in my box. And you can see there's quite the selection. <laughs> I'm most excited to maybe wear this guy. I bought it, gosh, a couple of months ago now and I haven't worn it one time and I just love how super chunky it is. And so I packed a couple of tops that I think will work with this and I'm really hoping I get to bust it out. I picked up these vintage coach bracelets a few years ago and I've worn them quite a bit since getting them. I just love the details and I love I just love the look of these guys with the studs. So cute, right? Obviously it doesn't go with this outfit, but I love this necklace. It's a Kate Spade necklace that I got on super clearance from TJ Maxx for like $20. And I freaking love it. And I always put a rubber band around the bobble bar just for extra security. On posh trips, I pack all of the shoes. <laughs> this posh trip, it's okay. So 
I should have told you this in the beginning. So the luggage that I'm showing you is my luggage for San Antonio. I leave tomorrow morning on Saturday and our event starts on Sunday night. Sunday night is the Platinum Retreat. So I'm super duper excited. This is going to be my very first Platinum Retreat. Nope. That's a lie. This is my second platinum retreat that I'm attending. Our platinum retreat runs from Sunday to Wednesday, and then all of the other posh leaders are going to join us on Wednesday, and we're going to have leadership for the rest of the week. I don't fly home until Sunday, so you guys, I'm going to be gone a full eight days. Clearly that requires eight pairs of shoes. Of course I've got some Toms for walking. I can't go on a posh trip and not bring my polka dotted flats because hello. They're so cute. Going to San Antonio means I've got an excuse to wear my rhinestone high heel boots. I should add that I always bag my good shoes so that they don't, you know, get messed up bumping into my other things. Next bag of shoes. You guys, I am so excited. I just bought these Michael Kor high heels and I haven't worn them before and I'm so excited to bust them out for this trip. Kristen Cavallari knows what I need in San Antonio. Peep toe booties. Please note the giant stacked heel. Every time I meet somebody in person at a posh event, they always remark how short I am. Spoiler alert, I'm 5'2 on a tall day. I just have a very large personality. These hotties haven't been worn yet either. These are from Vince Camuto and I haven't worn them yet. I packed one outfit in particular to wear these guys, so I hope that it makes it into the rotation. <laughs> because as you'll find, I am a slight overpacker, but I need to have options. Don't worry guys, just two more pairs of shoes. These pumps are from Kenneth Cole and I freaking love them. I know I freaking love everything. And of course, when you go to Texas, you've gotta pack your cowgirl boots. These are from Lane, and I bought these at um, a rodeo convention that my girlfriend Alyssa was doing a posh table at. So I got them on a super good deal, and I just think they're the cutest. I packed them and wore them all over in Nashville with my shorts. Um, I think I'll be wearing them with jeans because San Antonio seems like it's gonna be in the 60s. Burr. I love them. And, of course I have to pack our roomie sign. Yes, we decorate our hotel room. I'm not kidding you when I tell you that posh trips are like the ultimate girls trips ever. Okay, hands up if you use packing cubes. Tell me how you sort your stuff down in the comments in your packing cubes because I basically change it up every single time. I love having them and I love organizing my things, but I always do it differently. So this time in this cube, I've got my jeans and casual t-shirts. These are my casual t-shirts for when we're doing non-business stuff because hello, that's got a pretty deep V. I'm wearing one pair of jeans on the plane and then I've got this pair of, you know, kind of dark denim, this pair of super dark denim, and this pair of black denim. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we almost had a situation. This next packing cube is a big one and it's got all of my lounge clothes and, um, you know, just relaxing things. I had to pack my platinum circle jacket. This is from 2017 and I am still rocking it because I am super proud of that award. So in my real life, I like to be naked most of the time. I don't wear a lot of clothes around my house and so I don't wear a lot of clothes on posh trips. And as Alyssa and I have had more guests into our room, I have learned to pack myself a bathrobe. That way I can be a little more decent for my visitors. <laughs> yes, that's a true story. I told you matching pajamas are a thing. And so Angela and I are rooming together for the platinum portion of the event while we await all of our other friends. And so I picked these up special, surprise Angela, for us to wear matching pajamas. And then of course, because it's a posh event, all of my loungewear are posh t-shirts, posh sweatpants, and all of the posh things. Inside of my hair towel, because it's important to pack a hair towel, because regular towels will make your hair staticky, you wanna use a hair towel. If you don't have a hair towel, use an old t-shirt. That's a hair hack for you. Anyway, inside of my hair towel, it's just a little room beverage that I brought for Alyssa. Okay, full disclosure, this actually got dropped off to me by Patty. It was leftover from Chicago Day Away. I know, shame on her for having leftover booze. I took it, happily packed it, and I'm packing it for San Antonio. The wine has made it full circle in the posh life. <laughs> you guys were doing such a good job. We've made it all the way through suitcase number one. Don't worry, suitcase number two should go pretty quick. So at home, I don't leave the house very often, and when I do, I like to be super fashionable, you know? So I don't get a chance to wear my platinum gear that often. So of course I pack it for the posh trips. 
I don't know that this will see any use because hello, you guys are still voting on the best rain jacket ever. Um, but I'm gonna throw it in there just for good measure. I always get compliments on my skin stick bag, especially from other poshers. So it's got all the skin sticks right there. And then on the other side with the logo, it said there's a skin stick for that. So in here, I literally have all of the skin sticks, like all, all of, all of the skin sticks. The caffeinator to wake up my tired eyes after I have a long night out. Sleepy sleep to put myself to sleep at any given time. Immunator to fend off all of the germs that the poshers bring. The healer to heal my broken heart when I have to leave the posh trip. Perk stick to perk it up at 8 a.m. when I stayed out until 2 a.m. You get the idea. This is what I call a hitchhiker. This is I'm doing awesome cup and it's a hair towel inside and another little towel inside. And Christy Shaw on my team left this behind in her room in Chicago. And so I graciously picked it up and is hitchhiking a ride to San Antonio to give it back to her. But Lauren, guys, she knows the importance of a hair towel. Too bad she didn't have wine tucked in hers. Some random toiletries that I need. Hair products, my nothing phases me serum, little mini Bacardi's, deodorant, you know necessities. I got this cute little bag from my friend Gretchen. It says the only drama I enjoy is in my lashes and that's totally true and this is all my lash stuff because you know I need a whole bag of lash stuff. Oh, give myself a black eye and this is my knockout beauty makeup bag. I love it because it's got all these little dividers so I keep all of my lippies here um, all of my makeup there. These are all my makeup brushes and then over here is just some more random toiletry type stuff Shampoo conditioner tweezers a travel candle because I always bring a travel candle because you never know what your hotel room is gonna smell like You just never know Q-tips brush cleaner, you know Necessities. This is why I need to bring two bags. It literally takes almost a full-size suitcase for just all of my extra Accoutrement. I've got my little panty divider, clean, dirty, keeps it all nice. My favorite thing of all, my curl formers. You see now why I need a full size suitcase for my accoutrements. This it does take up a good amount of space, but it gives me the most beautiful spiral curls in the world and they usually last for two days, albeit a little softer on day two, but I freaking love my curly hair and so curl formers for the win. Whoa! which means I need curl former wands. And if you watched my Instagram story from when I was at Pledge in Salt Lake City, drunk curling my hair late at night, you will know that Alyssa and I each broke one wand. So I bought two more because clearly I always need to have two in case of emergency. Another super necessity, the speaker. P.S. I freaking love this carrying case. So this carrying case carries my speaker and the charger. Um, this is, what is it, a UE Boom? This is a UE Boom, maybe a Boom 2, I'm not sure. I got it on Amazon a while back and I freaking love it. It's a Bluetooth speaker. We take it everywhere we go. Even when like on an incentive trip, I'll throw it in my beach bag and let it blare all the way down to the beach. Like you're welcome the world for my music. I always pack the speaker. Okay. Inside here is a very carefully wrapped up bottle of Casamigos tequila. I guess I could unwrap it for you. I mean, God forbid all of my clothes smell like tequila when I arrive. I do wrap it pretty good. Tequila! One more pair of shoes. Always pack a pair of flip-flops for running down to the lounge in the hotel. Um, you know, general, running around, whatever. Always have flip-flops. Okay, it's the final countdown. Now I'm gonna show you how I pack my clothes. Spoiler alert, it's super fun. And I'm unpacked! <laughs> I always pack my clothes on hangers. These hangers are relatively inexpensive. You can get them at Walmart, on Amazon, at TJ Maxx. They're the um, like velvet skinny hangers. I always pack my clothes on hangers. That way I can pull everything out, hang it right up, and be totally unpacked clothing-wise, because obviously I have all of this other stuff to unpack. Um, and then, if for whatever reason I'm out of space on the way home, I can leave these behind and not feel bad. They're literally like 50 cents each, maybe. Probably even cheaper than that. So, super excited to share that little packing tip with you. Um, and then I'll just show you some of the outfits I packed. I love, 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 love this shirt from Rails. It's a super soft, um, really nice material. It hangs perfectly, and I just really love the colors. I love this shirt for fall so much. 
so I bring it everywhere I go. This is like an option for a meeting day. Another option for a meeting day, I love bringing blazers um, on my posh trips. They're just so smart looking and you can throw it over anything, even like a t-shirt and it looks great. So I've got two tank tops under here as options, a blue one, actually it's reversible, blue and green and a red one. I super love this shirt from Tommy Hilfiger, the flutter sleeves, the silk, it just hangs really nicely on me and I just love this color. Oh, it's the same color I'm wearing today. So this is a option for a meeting day. This is an option for a meeting day. This is literally my favorite shirt. Okay, they're all my favorite. All of the silky, hangy shirts for meeting days. So one of the nights we're doing a cocktail party, and so I packed this dress, but I just realized like, I'm gonna have to get my legs waxed if I'm gonna be wearing a dress. So I might have to go rethink the whole cocktail party situation and see if there's any pants options for me. Sorry guys, this is real life. This was cocktail party option number two, but again, maybe I'm gonna need pants. So. This striped, sleeveless striped shirt Alyssa gave to me when I was in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago visiting her. You guys, I freaking love it. Like I have a closet full of clothes. I could clothe five people for an entire year and probably never repeat an outfit. But then I get this random shirt that Alyssa got from like TJ Maxx or something and I've literally worn it at least five times. Like two events and stuff. And I'm still packing it because I freaking love it so much with my polka dotted flats. And then I pulled this sweater out from my fall collection and this sweater is Banana Republic and I just love the style. It's got the little um, shoulder details right there, long um, sleeves that you can cuff, and I just thought that it looked nice together. So this is another option for a meeting day. And lastly, a little black dress. In case it happens to be a little bit warm one of the days, I wanted to have, you know, a comfy option. Suddenly I feel like I didn't even pack enough, but that's it. I wonder how long this video is gonna end up being. That's everything. I'm seriously having second guesses if I have enough, but I guess watching this video back will help me remember if I've forgotten anything. <laughs> oh, I need to pack my vitamins. Hey, has anybody gotten those care of vitamins that they've been pushing so hard on the Facebook ad videos? I've been wondering about them and I love that they come in individual packages. I feel like that would be so much easier to pack for my trips to grab like, you know, eight packages or 10 packages, however many days I'm gonna be gone. So, tell me in the comments if you tried care of vitamins before, because I'm thinking I might wanna try that. I took the quiz, but it was a little bit expensive. Anyway, tell me which rain jacket I should pack, one, two, or three. Um, tell me if I'm forgetting anything else, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like watching um, packing videos like this, be sure you hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day.